Hey guys, how's it going? It feels kind of weird to be talking to the camera like this because I know a lot of you just know me from my Pilates videos that I upload on YouTube and it's been a while since I've uploaded so I'm a little shy. That'd be fun to do a little Q&A so you guys can get to know me better. Also know you guys a bit better so leave a fun fact about yourself down in the comments below. I asked you guys on my Instagram for some questions that you guys want answered so have them up right here. I'm going to try to answer as many as I can. Also I want to explain my height is on YouTube. I'm currently working on Thrive by Kai which is basically a 12 week workout program. Um, we're coming up with our first Thrive X Transform program, which is gonna be a mixture of Pilates, cardio, and strength training to help you achieve your goals. I've been working on this for a couple months now, and it's finally launching in November. Link is in bio to sign up for the waitlist for Thrive X Transform. I will be offering a full length Pilates videos there, as well as guided workouts for uh, the weekdays. I've definitely been talking about that a lot in social media these days, because it's all I've been thinking about. Um, I'm so excited to finally launch it. Without further ado, let's get started with some questions. I haven't really looked at these yet. So the first question is, when did you start Pilates? Let me think about this. Me and Pilates go way, 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 way back. <laughs> um, a little background on like my fitness. I actually danced ballet for 10 years. My mom practiced yoga and Pilates. So I kind of just like would practice with my mom um, ever since I was like 10, 11, 12 years old. I go to the gym that she went to and go to the Pilates classes there. I really fell in love with Pilates at a very young age, but then after I finished ballet, I kind of like was confused as to what to do with fitness. So I just ran a lot and did a lot of very high intensity workouts. So I kind of felt out of Pilates for a while until I finished university actually, and kind of found myself getting back into it because I wanted something to kind of center myself um, from my very, very busy investment banking job, which I hated by the way. What is your nationality slash ethnicity? So I am born in China. I've been back a couple of times. I love it there, but um, I live in Canada and I am a Canadian. Okay. This one's really interesting. There's an argument that she had with her boyfriend. Do you think you could be a guy in anything goes fight? So like, I would never physically be anyone. <laughs> yeah, I don't know any scenario where I would win a fight. If you do have that kind of persistence and like are really good at debating, like you do you girl, like I wanna be you. I would need to be more like that. I'm just like not an argumentative person. What is your workout split? So in my workout split really varies every week. Um, I work a full-time job on top of content creation and. YouTube and, and stuff like that. So a typical week for me is exactly what Thrive by Kai program is gonna have. So shameless plug, but I like to work out like three times a week during the week, so Monday, Wednesday, Friday. And I like to start with like 15 to 20 minutes on the treadmill um, and I'll have those guided treadmill workouts in Thrive by Kai, as well as um, a Pilates slash weight slash strength training session. Um, that really varies from 15 to 30 minutes, depending on how much time I have. Some days I literally only have like 15 minutes to work out. So I'll just do like a quick circuit or just like 15 minutes on the treadmill. It's really like here or there. Um, and then on the weekends, I like to do a plumbing session just to kind of like reset and start my weekend off. Um, kind of like forget about what happened the week before and look forward to the week ahead of me. I got some questions about my hair. Thank you guys so much. That is really nice. Um, so I actually box dye my hair. You can see, so I box dyed it like two weeks ago. Um, I will link the box dye that I use uh, in the bio. So I actually use this Dyson curling iron and I just kind of like loop it in like this and then can bring it down um, every single day. That's like my typical daily hair routine. You literally just like twirl it, turn it on and just like twirl it and you twirl it, twirl it, twirl it. It's super easy. The thing that I have really focused on recently are hair serums and this shampoo and conditioner that I use. So I'll take you guys to my bathroom and show you guys what I use. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> Over there, I did get a couple questions about my top five skincare products and my skincare routine. So. Let's go and I'll show you guys my routine. I actually have combination skin, which I learned very recently when I got a facial. I always thought I have like super dry skin because I have eczema and like rashes over here and stuff, but apparently I have combination skin because my T-zone is oily and I get like breakouts around here. Also, here is my hair in like bathroom lighting. I don't know if this makes any difference. Um, so let's start with um, all the serums that I use. So basically I sometimes go in with this L'Oreal Bond Repair Pre-Shampoo. My hair is some kind of damage from all the um, hair coloring that I do to it. So I want to make sure that the bonds are strong. So I go in with this before I go into the shower. And then for my current shampoo, I've been loving this Davines like shampoo. Um, this is actually from Italy. I'll link it below. And then this conditioner is my holy grail. I don't know what's in this, but it's so nourishing for my super dry and coarse hair. Love it. Um, and then this is a lot. I never used to like use so, so many serums, but Kara Stoss gifted this to me. So needed to do that. And also I got this from Moroccan oil. Um, so this Moroccan oil is 
OG, honestly. I've been using Moroccan oil for years now. Um, I just like use a tiny, tiny, tiny bit and then um, work it in my hands. And I just use a tiny, tiny, tiny bit after showering when my hair is still damp and just put it on the split end. So this serum is a night serum, but I actually use it during the day. I just put it all over my hair after I wash it and I swear it makes it so nice. Um, this one is a scalp treatment. So my scalp is pretty dry. I do have like some dry patches over here. So I just kind of like work it into my scalp like so, and it's really helpful. And then this one is a split ends serum. So the lady who was at Kerastas, um, she showed me how to use this. So you put like two drops and then let me demonstrate this one actually. Well, basically for the split ends treatment, you literally get two drops. And then you just like rub it in and then you just spread it all throughout your ends. And this regimen that I'm doing right now has literally transformed my hair. Like my hair used to be a bit shorter and I feel like it just like would always break a lot um, before I could grow it long. But now I really don't have many problems with that. And I haven't cut my hair in months, like literally so many months. I don't plan on cutting it in a while. When it comes to skincare, it honestly changes a lot for me, but this is the current routine that I'm loving. So I go in with my Cetaphil Gentle Skin Cleanser. This is a holy grail. I've been using this for years now. And then after I use that, I double cleanse with some, oop, I double cleanse with some micellar water and this helps me to get rid of my mascara. And then after that, I let it dry, pat dry, and I put on this Laneige toner um this stuff is great just kind of pat it into my skin you can do like multiple layers of it i just do like one or two and i let it dry i never realized how important it is to like wait for your products to dry before putting on the other one and i swear it's transformed how my skin feels like after i put the products on i used to like just like slather every single product like layer after layer on and it just like was not working for me um i love this vichy mineral 89 serum i will put all of these I'm going to put a link to all of these in the bio, so don't worry about that. And then I also go in with this Vichy moisturizer as well. It's so good and so hydrating for my super, super, super uh, gentle skin. In the mornings, I go in with the Dare Claire's vitamin C to get rid of acne scars, which I get, sadly. <laughs> and then I also exfoliate in the evenings, not every evening, but like maybe like once or twice a week um, with my Paula's Choice BHA uh, exfoliant. Um, and... Sometimes I do also use some jojoba oil to just kind of like seal everything in afterwards. And I think that's really it. I sometimes also use benzoyl peroxide as a cleanser to really just like get rid of all my acne and purge my skin. Um, but that's really it. All right, so I also had a question about how to balance life after anorexia. And if you're going through anorexia, just know that I am rooting for you. I know how hard it is. Um, it took me like five years to achieve what I consider full recovery, food freedom. Um, it's a lot of mental work as well as physical work. Um, yeah, I can make a whole video about my anorexia story if you guys would be interested. And honestly, when I was going through it, I thought I'd never come out the other side, never have a normal eating pattern. Um, I just kind of felt really defeated. So here are three practical ways. So first things first, identify the positive role models in your life. Hopefully you have some that you can look at. If not, there are lots of great people online who make very non-triggering content. People who've gone through an eating disorder who have come out the other side. Love someone called Live, Live in Life. Her content is great. She does like videos about like fear foods and how to get over those and things like that. I think it's really great. Um, so look out for like positive role models in your everyday life. Sometimes when you are recovered from eating disorder, it can be easy to relapse, but Having all the positive figures to kind of mimic really, really, really helps, trust me. For me, it was my boyfriend and my, my mom and my dad. They have super, super normal eating habits. The second thing is I stopped doing all body checking behaviors. Get rid of all the mirrors in your room if you need to. Stop weighing yourself, unless professionals say you should weigh yourself. I found that as soon as I threw out my scale, threw out my measuring tape, um, got rid of all of those kinds of tools. I was a lot better able to focus on my recovery as well. Do not focus on working out at all. Like I know I shouldn't be saying this because I really have a workout program, but in order to recover and fully recover, I actually gave up working out for a while. I just realized that I had a really unhealthy relationship with the gym and going to the gym court made me kind of spiral a bit. So it was just not helpful in my recovery. Instead I would go on walks, I would go, you know, on hikes with my parents. I would go bowling. That my brain didn't associate with 
you know, losing weight and things like that. Um, yeah, those are the three tips that I have. I don't know if they're that helpful, but I hope they might help you a little bit. All right, guys, so thank you guys so much for the questions. I got to as many as I could. I would love to do another Q&A, so let me know if you like this. Also, um, I, I am hoping to make more YouTube videos. I'm so sorry for this very, very, very long hiatus. I really think about like how much I have not uploaded on YouTube like almost every single day, and I do feel really bad, but hoping to make this better. Um, but yeah, thank you guys so much. Don't forget to leave a, don't forget to like, subscribe, comment, so you know the drill, as well as leave a fun fact about yourself down in the bio. Hope you guys have an amazing day, and I'm sure I'll see you guys sooner than the last time when we've talked. <laughs> All right, take care, guys.